Hey everybody, it's Andrew. Welcome to Polycraft with Fuzzy Fractal 42. I'm out here at my racetrack in progress, trying not to die. Um, but there's not much to see yet. So, well, let me make sure the volume's okay there. So we're not blasting ya. And, oh my god, better run. Um, or gallop my way out of here. Um, I was told we may, we might expect a surprise somewhere near our main base area. So we're gonna go, we're gonna go see what this is all about. And I was told, I was told to record, so record I shall. And we will see what kind of nonsense the polycraft people have wrought onto QNL land. Uh, hopefully nothing involving explosives or dispensing arrows or trip wires or um, we're just gonna I really have no idea what to expect um, so probably nothing deadly and I know all my diamonds are accounted for in my ender chest so nothing devious in terms of uh, killing, uh, getting rid of any, hiding any, any of my diamonds or anything like that. Um, but I do have a beer here, so I'm going to go ahead and crack open my beer while I'm riding on this cart right here. And, uh, a local brewer's Imperial IPA that I just had to get, um, because we are big on our local craft beer here in Colorado. I know, I don't know if that rain is loud for you, but it's loud for me, so I'm going to turn that down a little bit. Um, yeah, that's better. Maybe that's too quiet, but we don't really need the sound, so... Uh, you know, I wish there was a way to balance it out a little bit better. Anyway, so yeah, Imperial IPA, 10%, 90 IBUs, which is a bitterness rating, quite high one. And it's pretty good. It's not that bitter for an IPA, that's 10%. Um, but it is a tall boy, so it will probably get me a little bit tipsy. Um, what the fuck? Alright, is that my touchpad? No, it's just being weird. So, yeah. Looks like lots of stuff's been happening on the Polycraft server, but I haven't had much to do with any of it. Um, I've actually spent the past week, um, played a good little bit of Kerbal Space Program, uh, which is pretty cool. If you don't know what it is, it's basically a builder slash simulator for aircraft and spacecraft. Um, and, uh, it's pretty cool. It's pretty involved. Um, you actually have to know a little bit, read and record. Yeah, you actually have to know a little bit about, you know, how an aircraft flies, you know, the if the vehicle isn't exactly symmetrical, if it isn't exactly um, balanced, um, it won't fly. And so far, I have only managed to make one or two um, aircraft that can actually fly and land without just totally crashing on the on the takeoff, so. Um, yeah, alright, let's see what's going on here. QNL land. Oh, Dusky. You, you little shit, you. Dear people, and do not be blue. At the end of your roof, you will find the next clue. Okay, well, I think I know what that is. That would be the roses over yonder here. Jeez. Watch, look out for tripwire or something. At the end of the roses. By the zombie spawner that's pretty much useless because the zombies just totally attack you and spawn all over the place now. So, zombie spawners. Uh, maybe there's a way you can make one useful, but I don't know what it would be. So here's the end of the roses. I see kind of a divot. Ooh, look at this. That's cute. What's with the two? I'm gonna take the two cobble because I don't know what it's for. In the land of the genie, you will exclaim, "Aha! It's a village in the desert, but it's not Agrava. It's a village."
village in the desert, but it's not Agrabah. Which? <sighs> in the land of the genie. Okay, well that would be Mad Jin. So obviously we're going to Mad Jin's. Hey, you should not be up there. That's not cool. In the land of the genie. Would definitely be Mad Jin. So wait, wait, let's read that one more time. It's a village in the desert, but it's not Agrabah. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure which village it's referring to, but it might take us a little bit to find um, without having to go and look at them, look at the map, which I don't want to interrupt recording to do that. So, cats! We should really do something about the cats. So, no one wants to fish. No fishing, please. It's boring. Ah! Okay, so the fastest way to Mad Jin's area is this way... No, it's not that way. It's this way. Oh, what am I doing? I'm just gonna give myself a push start here. There's been some talk on the server about starting anew because our lands are so far apart from each other and there's lots of empty space in between. On one hand, I kind of see the argument, but on the other hand, it's sort of, we've spent so much time, I mean, look at all this. You know, who wants to do all this stuff over again? You know, I mean, all things must come to an end. Um, but, New Desert Town. Okay, well that sounds pretty promising, doesn't it? That's probably where we're going. Alright, so, I guess the minecarts are a little bit messed up there. Oh, I don't know what we're doing. I wonder what what kind of reward we're gonna get at the end for doing this, if any. Or just a congratulations, you've solved the puzzle. New desert town. Mm, all right. It seems logical. What does this say? Did someone say signs? Let's see, map and chest. No, I don't think we're going to need that. Ugh. I'm not sure if I've even been to this particular location yet. Um, looks like it's still uh, pretty new or not developed because this is a a dirt rail. Which is, you know, whatever. Uh, wait, what did that say? A sign of things to come, I think it said. Uh, the shape of things to come. Mines in Hidden Valley. Alright. Oh, sweet. Do not tell him, do not tell him. You'll find the egg in the Hidden Valley. Hmm. Hidden Valley, like Hidden Valley Ranch? Like Madjin's Ranch? That's the only explanation I can think of for that one. Hmm. What else could... I don't know if Dusky, being Danish, would know what Hidden Valley Ranch dressing would be to make that uh, particular reference. Mines in Hidden Valley. Okay, no, so maybe not. That's the first place my brain went, is Hidden Valley, Hidden Valley Ranch. Grats on... Oh, yeah, that's Imagine. What is all this weird stuff? Mines in Hidden Valley. The egg. Is this like the... Hmm. I do remember when Majin was building this. Open mines in Hidden Valley. Yeah. Nice close down there. Very dangerous. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> okay. Hidden Valley temporarily closed, though open for... Hmm, what is that supposed to mean? Follow the light. Okay. 
I can do that. Ah, as soon as I have a little bit more beer here. Mm. Ah. Yeah. Mmm. That's good beer. Okay. We're going up there. Oh, wait. It's <laughs> just for fun. Oh, look. It's an egg. Congratulations. Now hide the egg for a mutual friend. See, I don't have... I don't know if you need Silk Touch to pick up the egg, but I don't have a Silk Touch pick. So, I can't... I don't think I can pick it up. I don't want to risk it in case... Uh... Yeah, I don't... I really don't know. Um... Well, Dusky, you could have made that a little bit harder. I probably would have figured it out anyway, but... Uh... Nice. And, uh, that was a pretty good, fun little, uh, scavenger hunt there. Yeah, I guess I gotta go ask the gang, uh, if it's possible to pick up the... Or at least ask Dusky, maybe, privately, if it's possible to pick up the egg without Silk Touch, cause... Or see if I can find a Silk Touch pick lying around, around here. Um... Whoa. So, uh... Alright, that was uh, a scavenger hunt by Dusky. Um, he is quite the poet. Um, yeah, but I can't hide the egg unless I know for a fact. I know everybody would freak out if I tried to pick up the egg without a silk touch and uh, I lost the egg somehow. Okay, guys, back just moments later. Um, now, if I read the wiki correctly... Didn't I have a bunch of Indo pearls a second ago? Um, I can get the egg as long as I put a torch underneath the block I break it on. God, I hope I read this right, because otherwise people are going to be pissed. So, let's, uh, let's see what happens here. I'll be very upset if we lose the egg. Oh, did we get it? Alright, cool. I'll take your chest out of here, too. Oh, uh, <laughs> why did I put that in there? Right, I don't know. That was weird. Okay, so maybe I should go. So who hasn't had the egg? I don't really know. Um, maybe we should do. Whoa, hey yo! I don't want to go there. Oh God, get away! You stupid freaking zombies everywhere! If I die with the dragon egg, that would be bad. But also good because I've heard now that um, dying with the egg. Uh, or <laughs> just dying, sorry. Um, getting my thoughts confused here. Uh, dying is a good way to get lots of views on your videos, according to the gang. Um, oh. Oh, who should we hide this for? Maybe one of the newer people should have a go at the egg? But I'm not such a riddle maker, like... Um, others are, so, I don't know what we're going to do. Hmm. Uh, okay, alright, let's just go with it. Uh, just totally just sneak along here until we get to where we're going eventually. Come on, come on, come on. How to make it interesting? It's just not my forte to make riddles and stuff like this and prank people and everything. It's just not what I'm good at. <laughs> hmm. 
Well, I doubt. Get away. I know you're coming for me. Get out. Get out. You know, it's actually quite useful that I happened to get that particular sword right before, like, I think, was I recording when I rolled that sword? Probably not, but, um, I was lucky I was able to get that sword right before the whole zombie, uh, invasion thing started happening. So, we don't want to go to Agrabah, per se. We want to go, and then, yeah, I should have taken all those signs with me. <laughs> I shouldn't have left the signs everywhere, but oh well. Let's uh maybe uh Randall could use uh maybe he could use a dragon egg. <laughs> So, let's see if we can navigate our way over to his place and try to formulate some kind of prank of some sort. I'm going to need all that stuff at some point. I, have, I really should have unencumbered myself before doing this. As usual, I don't always think through before I make these videos. Uh, we can get rid of that. There's always more cobble to be... Uh, I want to give up all the stuff I had when I was working. <sighs> Damn it, Andrew. And I don't even have a lot of food, so we need to go back home or something. Before we can do anything else. Though, he's right this way, so... Let's see. Where is the way home? This way, I think. Hmm... <laughs> I'm kind of lost. Okay, well this is the way to the hub. <clears throat> we need to go get some food um, before we can do anything. So I'm thinking what I want to do. Put something up. Um, one clue. Whoa, this is different. Oh, he's got nice switches and everything too. How sweet is that? Where, where am I going to go now? Or am I just going to go around in a big circle? <laughs> that's kind of cool, and if I press the button, I go down the right one. Uh, except that's really disorienting. I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm never going to hit that button, going way too fast. <laughs> Alright, that's a clever idea, but it doesn't really work in practice. So whoever did that, thanks for playing. Um, it's not really going to work for me. Cute idea, though. Agrabah. What does Agrabah mean? Do we know? Redo the maps just three by three and <sighs> Random Man Show Off area? What is that? Um Fouquet. I don't I don't really I don't I don't get it. What what was the point of that? Someone explain to me what's going on should redo these signs. Yeah, you should. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing or where I'm going. Which way is the way home? Grimbeck shows off area. I don't really know. I'm sure I missed out on this conversation. Something city. Yeah, okay, I guess this is the way. So I don't really get, I guess someone maybe needs to explain to me how this whole thing is supposed to go. But anyway, I know, it seems like I can go down here and press that, and I should go this way. Nope, I lied. <laughs> how are you supposed to do this? There should be more, way more signs. And it should be not quite that fast, because I can't react quickly enough to do that. Hmm. Alright, so get some food from home and then go see Randall and try to figure out what the hell we're going to do about this whole prank situation. Okay. 
so yeah, I mean, this kind of speaks to us being so far apart. It's just, we don't even know the lay around each other's lands. That's how kind of vast the whole world is. At this point, and you know, it would be nicer if all our stuff was a little bit closer, so it would be easier to enjoy what other people made instead of having to go on a big trek out to who knows where, not knowing the way, and I mean, there's been countless times where I've tried to get out to, like, Scott's area or a place like that and just totally gotten turned around and just kind of given up. Um, so, let's see, where was the way to Randall Man? Mm, man. Jen's just got so much stuff and so many servants that, uh, go! Oh my god, oh my god! He's got so many people. I shouldn't say servants. It's not really the right word. Mm. Now, how did this end up that it's smooth on this side and then needed stairs on the other? What were they thinking when they did that? I don't really get it. Um. Oh god, and this whole thing. Oh. So maybe that's what's supposed to happen, is you're supposed to get stuck in there. Um, Alright. So. I think we definitely want to use that, maybe for the second clue. So let's go find Randall Man's area. Is it... Waterworld? Isn't it Waterford? Did that get changed? In which way? What, which is this way? Oh boy. I think it's this way, but I really don't remember. Yes. Okay. Oh yeah, this is quite a way, so I definitely don't want to, uh, have to walk it. It's quite a ways to there. That's pretty cool. It must have taken a lot of work to to do that. <laughs> this whole thing must have taken a ton of work, actually. And I, yeah, maybe this is a good opportunity to show off what uh, Randall's been doing because he's not recording videos, and I don't know if anybody's been in his area really on video. But I, I haven't gotten to watch all the recent videos, so not sure. <laughs> means crystal. Yes, it does. Hmm. Man, what is he making here? Looks like quite a th quite some kind of thing. Ramparts of some kind. Um. To what end? Maybe just a giant wall around everything. That's what he's getting at. Is that a villager? What is that thing? Town Hall, Sky Farm. Anyway, that's interesting. Let's go take a look. I'm too curious not to. 
even though it's kind of clear what it is. It's pretty neat. I like it. It's a big tower. he can find it, which would be Foundry, okay, hmm, service entrance, I don't know what he's doing there, he was making some kind of auto miner smelter thing with the carts. Anywho... Um, I don't even know where I'm going to get back here. Alright, let's... Alright, there's the first clue. Um, now we're gonna go plant one at the hub, or at Magian's hub. And I don't know. I haven't had. I don't have an idea of what we're gonna do there yet. So, cut. All right. So here's clue number two. And I'm gonna go to Mackie Land and uh, or really Danadia and see what I can do over there. Okay. Here's the uh, next clue. And then we're going to go put the thing in uh, <coughs> the gas hunter's lodge that I have in our area. Okay, last stop is up here. So that's about all there is to say about this section, this thing, whatever it is we're doing here. Um, came up with it pretty quick cause uh... yeah i'm not really <laughs> i'm not really much of a prankster so anyway thanks for watching we'll see you next time